Hi, my name is Mike Cornelson. I'm the author of the Classical Masterpieces for Electric Bass series found exclusively at BassBooks.com. What I want to talk with you about today is how you can make use of Windows Media Player 11 and its player speed setting, along with the MIDI files that come bundled with the book, and combine the two to make the ultimate practice companion. Windows Media Player 11 comes bundled with Vista, but if you're running Windows XP, you want to make sure you have Windows Media Player 11 installed. So first things first, if you're running an earlier version of the player, you're going to want to fire up your default browser, go to Google, and type in Media Player 11. The very first link that will come up is for the Windows Media Player download at Microsoft, and you'll want to click on Download Now and install the software. Now a word of warning. If you're running a cracked version of Windows, you might as well stop right here because Windows Media Player 11 will check to see if you've got a genuine copy of Windows installed. So my advice to you, get legit, alright? So, you've downloaded the software, you've installed it, and now you double click on that Windows Media Player icon. And the reason I say this is kind of a hidden feature because when you first look at the program as it comes up, you see no mention of the player speed setting. What you have to do is you hit the Alt key on your keyboard. That brings up the menu. You go to View, Enhancements, Play Speed Settings. Okay? So you gotta hit that Alt key on your keyboard and go to View and go to Enhancements where the Play Speed Settings are. Alright? So once you have that dialed in, then you can take any piece you want. We'll take one of the pieces that comes bundled with my Classical Masterpieces for Electric Bass Book. This one's Paganini's second variation from the 24th Caprice. Double click it, and you'll hear the MIDI file that comes with the book is set to a nice performance tempo. But it's probably not the best tempo for you when you're first setting yourself down to learn the piece. So, here's something to keep in mind. The temptation is to start blazing away, learning the piece at the edge of your abilities, but if you start off at a tempo where you're playing sloppy and you're missing notes, what you're really practicing is sloppiness, and it's just going to end up taking you a longer time to get all the notes under your fingers. So we'll click on the .5 setting here, which takes it down to half speed, and here's a tempo. You can learn it actually. You can learn it faster by starting off slower. tempo much more suited for getting those notes under your fingers okay so you keep practicing and practicing and you've got it clean at 0.5 so now you inch it up to 0.6 you keep practicing and practicing and then you start getting it up to 0.7 and sooner or later you have it nice and clean at full speed all right so that's using your head right there okay you take it off at a nice slow speed from the beginning and then you keep working at it and pretty soon you have it up to a tempo that will scare your friends and neighbors. So there you have it. It's the somewhat hidden feature in Windows Media Player 11 called the Player Speed Setting. So go check it out. You can get the MIDI file and the tab for this piece in the free samples for my Classical Masterpieces for Electric Basebook, which is available exclusively at Basebooks.com.